Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this sketchy looking 3D text with Element 3D version 2.0. Now if you don't have Element 3D version 2, then go ahead and watch this video and you can see some of the stuff you can do with it. I'm not going to be covering all the features. This isn't a feature overview. I just want to show you how to create this. Now you can get close to this look in Element 3D version 1, um, but there is some deform and distortion tools that I am using in this um, that isn't in the older version. So let's get started with a brand new composition. And let's go in and let's write our text. Let's just do AE for After Effects. Make that nice and big. Okay. Now I'm going to create a new solid layer. We'll call this one E3D. Bring it down to the bottom. And I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to call this the duplicate edge. And so what I want to do is I'm going to bring the duplicate, the edge, on top. And then I'm going to just hide it. And then I'm going to add some masks to this. I'm going to get in pretty close so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And I'm going to use the ellipse tool. And while I've got that selected, even though it's hidden, I'm going to create a nice little small circle and stick it right on the corner. Now that I have that, I'm going to go in, make sure I'm on my arrow tool, my selection tool, and that the mask down here is highlighted. And then I'm going to hit Command D or Control D if you're on Windows and it'll duplicate it, and then I'm just going to move the mask to the other corner. And I need to put a circle like this on every single point. Okay, now that I have all of those um, corners with a, a point on it. I can come in here, turn this mask back on, and you can see there's little dots everywhere. And so this edge mask, uh, solid with a mask on it, and then this AE text is what we're going to use to drive the 3D text in Element 3D. So down on this Element 3D layer, let's highlight that. Let's go into my plugin, Video Copilot, grab Element, and go into the Custom Layers, Custom Text and Masks, and we do edge for the top one and then AE for the second one go into the scene setup okay here we are in element 3D the whole uh, interface and I'm gonna hit extrude twice and it'll extrude those custom paths I'm gonna take this bottom one and change the custom path from custom path 1 to custom path 2 now in element 3D version 2 you can have things in groups so I'm gonna just leave these in the same group but let's twirl that down so I can see both bevels. Let's go to bevel 1 on the top one. And let's do like 10 on both of these. Now, just so we can see what's going on, I'm going to go in and start to add some color to this. I'm just going to do a plastic mat on the top one. Let's rename this. And if I just double click on it, it renames it. And so what those dots do is it creates these lines, as you can see here. Um, there's really not an easy way of creating these edges along this way. There is a new feature in Element 3D that lets you create the front edge. And I'm going to show you that now. I'm going to take the fill, and right here where it says Bevel Copies, we're going to do three. Let's take that plastic mat, and again, do it on two of those three. We want this, and then this top one, let's do this, just do flat color, and then come down where the color is, and change that to white. Let's go to this plastic mat, the top one, right here where it says bevel outline. I'm going to turn that on, Z offset. Set that to 10. And it's a little thick, so let's bring this down. Looks like about 14.14 14 is going to be just fine. Now on this back one, we're going to do the same thing. Enable the bevel outline. Go 
we're going to expand the edges just a little bit so it sticks out. You can see there it's sticking out. And then let's bring it down, the extrude. Now this top, the edges, I might come in here and take the bevel size and bring it down a little bit just to make those edges a little thinner. And that's starting to look pretty good. So let's hit OK, and it'll pop it right back into After Effects. Let's grab a new camera so we can navigate in 3D. And I just grab up my orbit tool from my camera. And looks like I've got this text layer that I need to hide and the edge layer. There we go. So there is just a basic um, kind of an outline style. Um, but what we can do is we can now, with the distort and deform tools in Element 3D, is we can make this look more sketchy. So let's come down to Element 3D. And this is all in Group 1. So I'm going to go into the particle look. And then down here, here's a new um, feature called Deform. And I'm going to go to Noise. And let's enable the noise. And let's just bring that up a little bit. And you can see it's starting to make it look a little crazy. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the scale up really high. And you can see it starts to give it kind of a sketchy look. You know, I'm kind of messing around. I switched to Distort. Let's see what 3D Distort does. And there's different looks. And that's, that's looking pretty cool. So let's maybe come in. Um, let's change the evolution. Tell us about how we like. Uh, I like it like that. So we can also come in to the bend. We can bend this a little bit. Let's bend it on the X. And then change the bend direction. Just a little bit of bend. To give it kind of a, a more of a sketch look. And then we can also come in. Let's try a little bit of a twist. Just to make it look really kind of sketchy. Now the last thing I want to do is I want to have a nice outline behind this. So I'm going to take that Element 3D layer and then just go to Layer Styles and add a stroke to it. Go into that stroke. Make it black. Make it nice and thick. Now no matter which way I go, I'm going to have a nice outline around it. And then to kind of make things a little bit more sketchy, if we go into Stylize, we can roughen the edges. And then it adds a little bit of a rough edge to it. Okay. There's that sketchy look. Pretty cool looking. Let's add a, a nice background to that. What I had done is I had just made this color raise. And this is a preset that I've developed. Uh, you can do whatever you want. Uh, how color raise works is it's a, it's a big shape layer preset. And I can just create all sorts of different colors. I can come in here and change... The ray color, and the background color, and um, add a vignette, and add some twist. And there we have a sketchy look with 3D text, all done in Element 3D. This again is version 2.0. I think it's 2.0.2 .2 or something like that, but version 2. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. I'm going to be doing some more tutorials with Element 3D. If there's anything specific you'd like to see, um, then put that down in the comments below. Um, I've been just playing around with the version 2 since it came out, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. Lots of cool stuff you can do. Um, but this is kind of a unique look that I haven't seen a lot of people talk about yet with Element 3D or just 3D text in general and After Effects. So I wanted to show that. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.